Alright, today I thought it would be a fun idea to have a little discussion about something that's been on my mind lately. Let's talk about whether or not it's time for a Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 remake and what we'd want to see in it. This is a bit personal to me because in a lot of ways, Kingdom Hearts 1, it's it's still my favorite. The first Kingdom Hearts holds a special place in my heart. It's one of those comfort games that despite its flaws, it, it just, it hits different. The solid gameplay, story is still good, the music, the charm, and then you have like Kingdom Hearts 2. It's still such a great sequel that just bumped up the fun factor with the gameplay and I would agree really set the basis for what these games could be. But with the series evolving and moving into this new phase, I think it's fair to ask, you know, like, do we do we need remakes? I'm still a little conflicted at, about the thought of a remake of one and two. I'm, I'm of two minds about it. On one hand, my head is telling me like, yeah, it, it's probably time but my heart is also like, nah, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Now, I've already discussed my feelings about a Days and Recoded remake, so this was probably inevitable. Now, when we're talking about like the pros or benefits of a remake, I mean, let's be real, the first game shows its age. Kingdom Hearts 2 does as well, like they're like both just about 20 years old, like the first game is definitely 20 years old now. They have a fair amount of that early 2000s jank that does stick out more and more when you revisit them. Some of it good and charming, but some of it's a bit more unflattering. And when it comes to things like updates and improvements, one of the first improvements for a remake should be updated graphics because duh <laughs> and i do think that maybe they should try to strike a balance between the original ps2 look and this newer look even though with kingdom hearts 3 i didn't really love how everything was like all shiny and glossy and a little bulgy huh? if that makes sense i do kind of have a, a bit of a bias towards the the older look where it's a bit more flat and matte it's kind of hard to explain it but pretty much everything up until 3d i kind of prefer that that aesthetic not saying that three looked bad it looked great and i'd be more than happy if if a remake were closer or up to that kind of fidelity we should also have smoother and improved gameplay i think the gameplay for these two is actually really solid and i will stick by that but believe it or not i actually think king Hearts three it's a it's a lot of fun to play Kingdom Hearts 3 is good. It's a lot of fun to play. I really like it. And, and I wouldn't be opposed to them borrowing elements from it and possibly Kingdom Hearts 4, whatever they add to that, to just in order to make the series more seamless, kind of going from game to game. Maybe, you know, keep the first two slowed down just a little to stay true with their original pacing. But I do think making improvements to the responsiveness, the snappiness, you know, like how you stick to enemies while in combat and also have the guarding functions. They should also get the improved magic casting. Like Kingdom Hearts 1, I always forget that, that you only have three shortcuts for your, <laughs> for your magic. Kingdom Hearts 1 needs that fourth shortcut and the multiple shortcut sets from 3 should definitely be implemented into both of these games for sure. I would also like to see a better gummy ship. This one's mainly targeted at Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, well, it has grown on me over the years. The gummy ship in Kingdom Hearts 1 is the clumsiest iteration. <laughs> like, navigating the editor alone is like, like, it's cute, but what, what is this? What, what am I, what am I even looking at? <laughs> it's cumbersome and tedious. Very much feels like the first draft and it was improved drastically with two and three like i actually really like the gummy ship in kingdom hearts 3 which it just if it just finally clicked for me i definitely spent a lot more time than i'd like to admit just messing around with it they don't need the open world from three i think basing it off the kingdom hearts 2 iteration would be great i also want to see there be more customization I've said it before and I will say it again, we should be borrowing features from Recoded. That game has basically been ignored, but it is so much fun to play as well. They should bring back the customizable cheats or the in-game mods, like having a difficulty toggle, health sliders, and prize switches. 
I think the the era of having like a static difficulty is kind of over. Basically, let us experiment or play the game in different ways. Make it as chill or as challenging as you want. And allow us to skip the prologues, at least after completing the game once, because like PC mods have wonderfully demonstrated how nice this can be, and I think it should just be implemented into the game natively. Something else I'd really like to see is improved bosses. Most of the bosses are all right, but some of them are kinda, kinda awkward, especially in the first game. I'm not asking to have bosses be so dumbed down that they spell out exactly how the fight is supposed to go, but there could be some steps taken to revamp certain encounters to make them, in, you know, just a little bit more intuitive. World exploration is another one. A little targeted at Kingdom Hearts 1 again, but uh, maps, we, we should have maps because I know you got lost in Deep Jungle. I know you got lost in Atlantica, lost in Monstro, lost in Traverse Town, because so did I. Undeniably, navigating around in Kingdom Hearts 1 is kind of, it, you, you know, it, it's, it's kind of rough. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's kind of rough. <laughs> and I know that they definitely noticed this because each game afterwards has had maps. <laughs> Even Chain of Memories has a map that you're building out yourself. So this is sort of a no-brainer addition. And with maps, we should also have improved worlds to explore. Think bigger, more detailed, and more interactive environments like Kingdom Hearts 3. Th this is like a must, honestly. No long hallways or flatlands, please. World design and interactivity, if you ask me, is a part of what makes the original Kingdom Hearts so memorable. And it's one of the areas that Kingdom Hearts 2 could have... It, it, it could have used just a, a little bump in. <laughs> it seemed like they were really focused on nailing the gameplay, that the world design didn't quite reach the same heights. It's not bad. I, I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is great, but like, I I don't think it's that much of a hot take that like, the worlds are kind of flat. You know, they're just a little flat and empty. Also, holy crap, NPCs, like, with Kingdom Hearts 3, that really spoiled us. We're gonna need, we're gonna need NPCs now. I cannot imagine going back to these games and the world's feeling so empty. Like with 3, things felt a lot more lively, and I really like that. Another aspect is gonna be replayability. Imagine a new game plus with new unlockables, additional side quests, and bosses to keep us playing after the main story. This this would be huge. Original and Final Mix Heartless designs, I want it. More Keyblades, absolutely freaking lootly. Replayable boss fights, like come on, I've been wanting that for like ages. That's something else that Recoded has technically. You know, I think it's time. I think it's time for that. The games don't need to be structurally longer, just to give us more reasons to keep playing what's already there. Also, how about this? How about letting us carry over non-story related keyblades between games, like it actually registers that you have a save file for the other game. Like let us build up a sizable keyblade collection, maybe adjust some stats between the games, but I think that could be like a fun little incentive and lets you kind of keep up with your favorite ones. I think that would be pretty fun. Now really diving into some fan fiction, what if Chain of Memories and Days were integrated into these remakes as well? either like natively or it could be DLC. Like that's something I'm a, I'm a little iffy on. This is this is definitely just like I'm throwing it out there. I'm, I'd be really curious to see what you think about it. But it'd be like you'd finish the game and then afterwards like you go back to the to the main menu and you actually have an option to play like a Chain of Memories remake, which I haven't really put too much thought into what I'd want with that. Or like you finish Kingdom Hearts 2 and you get days or you get playable days just to really kind of keep the experiences more cohesive and concise rather than having to make them separate things like they'd kind of all be bundled together into one experience. Again it's something I'm still a little iffy on is it's just it's just an idea I'm throwing out there. But obviously remakes aren't without risk. We could lose the charm of the original games and it could have the complete opposite effect and just be, become like too simplified. 
or focus could be shifted away from development of a new Kingdom Hearts game, but I would expect a Kingdom Hearts remake would be taken seriously and put into trusted hands and given the attention it needs, but like honestly, you never know these days, it, it could just be a complete mess. There's like no guarantees anymore. It could also be too expensive with how games are seemingly being priced nowadays. I'll be honest, and I, d I don't know if I'd be willing to purchase a remake of one and two if they were like, if they were both $70 and they're like doing the bare minimum with them, honestly. Like I, I would buy them, but I wouldn't want to buy them, you know? What do you think? Is like, are you ready for Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 remake? Do you think it's time? What changes would you love to see? Like comment below, let me know. Because I do think this is, I do think it's inevitable at some point. And if remakes do happen, I'm just hoping for updated graphics, smoother gameplay, and extra unlockables at the very least. But that's all I got. If you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye for now.